So this is our 99 Astro van, AKA Disastro, that we originally built for the Gambler 500 and uh, I've taken on many adventures since, since then. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. Um, rear suspension, lifted it using a S10 leaf springs and replaced the bump stops with timber and bump stops from a uh, truck out of a junkyard. Uh, front suspension, it's been lifted Uh, by cranking up the torsion bars, doing a ball joint over swap to get the uh, camber right, and a few hockey pucks on the subframe to lift it. So you can see there, two hockey puck lift on the subframe. Back here, we have the uh, heavy duty body mounts made of ball bearings and brake pads. Uh, the transfer case is out of a full-size Chevy truck. We got an adapter off of a, another 4L60 to adapt it uh, to the into the Astro. Use a stock root drive shaft, surprisingly. Here's the ball joint under swap on the front suspension. Torsion balls are, bars are all cranked up. And a row bar, or welded. More hockey pucks. Uh, a brush guard on the front, off of some truck we modified to make it work with an Astro. 8,000 pound Ramsey winch that came with it, which has been used quite quite often. Uh, other mods, light bar on. Very, very useful since the headlights are very useless. And the front drive shaft sort to adapt. It's a little broken now. But to adapt, the uh, full-size transfer case to an Astro front differential needed to uh, I cut this into the drive shaft down, cut two inches out of it, and then stick welded it back together in a parking lot. It is now, this, this drive shaft has definitely seen better days. But it did last 4,000 miles. This end, this end, we uh, adjusted the flange slightly to uh, com accommodate the larger bolt circle on the uh, transfer case. The uh, Another mod, very, very critical, is a skid plate that is made out of a uh, hockey board, like the stuff you see on the outside of a hockey rink. It's good because it's slippery and really tough. Um, we also V8 swapped it because we may have hydrolocked the V6 at one of the gambler events. So it's hard to tell, but there's a, there's a V8 crammed in there. It actually fits pretty well. Surprisingly. Um, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. So this has been a quick walk around of our Chevy Disastro. Shipbox edition.